had no place to go. Um, I was broke, hungry, spiritually broke. And just in and out of jail and uh, other rehabs or either out on the street. I went from marijuana and weed to crack cocaine and that's what really, I've been smoking crack cocaine since 1985. I left my home so that I could stay out where the cocaine was. I knew if I tried something, I was gonna like it. So yeah, I kinda always knew I, I had addictive behaviors. I had a career, I was a firefighter, a paramedic, uh, but I liked to drink. Got in with the wrong crowd, started off with just smoking pot and drinking, and by 16, I was snorting cocaine, um, dancing, um, stripping, you know. Um. I was abused when I was between six and 12 years old, and I got involved in drugs and alcohol, and I started drinking real heavily, and I was downtown one evening, and I was raped. The only thing that mattered was making sure I had enough to drink. I've lost um, about six or seven people that were real close to me. Some of them were violent deaths. I just couldn't imagine somebody telling my mom that I was dead. The reasons are numerous. The situation's endless. And one organization stands tireless in its pursuit of helping the least, the last, and the lost. For 55 years, the Nashville Rescue Mission has offered a hot meal, a warm bed, and a way off the streets, from job training to GED preparation to programs designed to break the chains of addiction. NRM's mission has been the same since day one, to help people know the saving grace of Jesus Christ and ultimately claim the life that God intends for them. The Nashville Rescue Mission opened its doors to Middle Tennessee's hurting and homeless in 1954, the result of an offering that was collected at an old-time revival being led by Dr. Charles Fuller. With each passing year, the number of those seeking help grew at alarming rates, and then some new faces began to appear, women and children with desperate needs. In Nashville alone, more than 2,300 people are on the streets or in homeless shelters, a third of them women and children. A bright spot of hope for those in need is the Nashville Rescue Mission. I felt welcome when I came here, like I came somewhere that God wanted me to be. I asked God to put me where he wanted me, not where I wanted to go. If I was trying to save the little money I had and try to find a place to get some, um, some rest so like we could hit the road again, I found the mission and that's six months ago. Yes, I, I came here looking just for shelter. What ended up happening was uh, I talked to a chaplain downstairs and uh, he told me about Christ. Being pregnant, there's, there's not too many places that you can go being pregnant and I wanted something that was Christian based. And it was, it was kind of, for me, scary. I said I had come from a, a career and having to be in line with the, with the transients. And, uh, not that that's a bad place to go, but it's very humbling. And I needed a place where I could bring my three and a half year old. And um, it's been really good for both of us so far. I didn't tell you, I've been like 13, 14 treatment centers and this, this is the only one where I ever got this close to God. I was really just looking for a place to live and it gave me a reason to live. The Nashville Rescue Mission is an open door facility, meeting the poor and hurting right where they are and helping them get to where God wants them to be. Length of stay is not limited and encouragement is given to enter the life recovery program or find meaningful employment. Volunteer physicians and chaplains are an integral part of the mission, providing medical care and counseling for those right off the streets. Through God's grace, the Nashville Rescue Mission provides over a half million meals and nearly 240,000 nights of safe shelter for those arriving with the most desperate of needs. All of this at no taxpayer expense. They prioritize things. You get your priorities back. You know what life's all about. The number one thing is God. I thought I had everything and had everything under control. And there again, once I take the, the eye out of it, and this, the, the program has, has helped, helped me realize I, how to take the eye out of it and do what God wants me to do. Everything you've been going through in life, if it wasn't for God, Jesus being on your side, you wouldn't be here. You know, he made it possible for you to even get this far. So it's either understand 
are keep living in your mess. That's what this whole program is about, is just like developing your relationship with Christ. The Nashville Rescue Mission offers a biblically-based seven-month residential recovery program for men and women suffering from alcohol and drug addiction and other issues, such as prostitution and abusive relationships. Counselors work with guests to build up spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional strengths as stepping stones to better relationships and ultimate recovery. Once you get to the issues and they start working through those layers and those layers of, of problems start coming off, then they start turning into uh, the person God made for them to be. But here at the Rescue Mission, we have a uh, council that really love the people here, and we reach out to them and let them know that they can get back up again. My counselor, God is truly working through her, Miss Bonnie. She's fabulous. I, I couldn't thank her enough for helping change my life. It's good because you, you learn that Men are not brick walls. We do cry, we do hurt, we, we, we do have feelings. They love you. You know, the people here love you no matter. And you think, because you've been to the lowest of low and done the dirtiest of deeds through your life. And I mean, they help rebuild yourself. The growth of the program has enabled us to do so much more as far as ministering to, to Nashville, Middle Tennessee, and, and even the states around us. Education is the key to a better life and the Nashville Rescue Mission provides opportunities for men and women to improve their academic and employment skills. Guests work toward their GED certification or are taught basic math and literacy. Additional classes teach Microsoft Office, basic finances, as well as employment orientation. With these skills, doors to new jobs are opened, confidence is restored, and once homeless men and women become contributing members of our community. And there's a lot of things I'm learning now that I never learned before. You don't have to uh, be a, a scholar to be in the classes. Learning to do a resume if you've never done one, um, an exit plan on what your future thoughts and goals are. My wife Sharon and I have been supporters of the Nashville Rescue Mission for years. Since 1954, the mission has provided these services free of charge and is supported 100% by the generous contributions of the people of Middle Tennessee. Government plans come and government plans go, but the mission's method of recovery stands the test of time. Jesus saves. Putting all my trust in God, He's gonna, He will provide. This place has taught me to stand up and speak up for myself. If it wasn't for Gateway, I know I would be dead today. But I know as long as I keep Him first, I can't lose. I hope to uh, be able to give back to this place. And I'm, I'm going to try to volunteer and do as much work here that I can to give back and tell people about Christ. The Hope Center has helped me by giving me a, a new chance at life and for my daughter also. I'm going to National State and my hope is to um, get into social work and help children. I should have been dead a long time ago. Cause that's how I look at it. He's, he's, he's had a lot of mercy on me. I just feel like I've got a chance now to, to help somebody else since they've helped me. My goal is to be a counselor here, and I want to go to where else. You know, I want to stay right here at the Hope Center with the National Rescue Mission. I want to give back what's been given to me. Thousands of lives have been changed through the warmth and protection of this center. With our help, thousands more will grow and flourish when they walk through the center's doors. It's a mission that is transforming lives for the kingdom and for our community.